This is our new radar trailer. <clears throat> it was purchased through a, a grant that was given to us by North Carolina Governor's Highway Safety Program. It has the, uh, the speed board that shows motors how fast they're going with the posted speed limit sign that we can put on there. And, and it keeps, you know, keeps honest people honest. It lets them see a real-time display of what their speed is and uh, trying to get voluntary compliance. It also has a uh, computer in it that allows us to do traffic studies at the same time. It'll give us uh, the speeds of the cars as they go by and the number of cars that pass through this particular point so that we can uh, better utilize our uh, traffic resources for enforcement um, as needed. It's designed so that one officer, as long as he has a vehicle that we can tow it from point A to point B, one officer can actually deploy it, set it up, and get it ready for operation. It doesn't uh, require much of any maintenance at all. We can actually keep it deployed for extended periods of time. It's uh, solar charges, so you know, as long as the batteries are still good, we can leave it out for you know, days on end. Our previous radar trailer was purchased on a uh, Governor's Highway Safety Grant that we got in 2000. Obviously, that was 13 years ago, and we had to life cycle it out. It was older technology. The amount of time and effort that we were taking to maintain it, just it wasn't worthwhile. We couldn't get replacement parts for it because it was so old. So we went back to Governor's Highway Safety and asked if they could uh, help us get a new radar trailer, and this was the end result. Well, in North Carolina, the number one contributing factor in fatal traffic crashes is speeding. Obviously, the reason why the speed limits are set 25 miles prior here in the city is for the safety of both the motorists and for the folks that live in these neighborhoods. We want to make sure our children stay safe, our pedestrians stay safe. We don't want somebody getting hurt.